What's up out there, everybody? Welcome to My Wife's Junk, and today I have this incredible child's lamp. This lamp is straight up adorable. Now, this was my wife's lamp when she was just a kid. Um, she had this in her room, grew up with it. She was hoping we could give it to our children someday, and unfortunately, that didn't quite work out. Uh, we weren't able to have kids. I think it was her, she thinks it was me. Well, you know, we never got really got to the bottom of it. We tried for, for a solid, three, four months or something like that and just were not able to do it. She got off the pill for a while. Uh, now you can give this to your children. A jungle lamp, safari lamp, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it's a lamp full of wonderful, wonderful animals, right? These are some animals that wouldn't necessarily get along in nature. The crocodile here, for instance, might you know, grab the zebra by the throat, pull it into the water, go into a death roll, something like that. The elephant would probably, you know, reach its trunk up there and pull that monkey off the tree and eat it or something like that. Only on a child's lamp are you gonna see these animals living so harmoniously, right? Now this, this monkey has a t-shirt. This guy is dressed to the nines. He's climbing that tree clenching that banana in, in his hungry little hands. That's just one of the small touches the artist put into this very, very special lamp. Now let me let me demonstrate for you how, how this works because this has an idiot proof uh, switch, I like to say. Very, very simple, guys. You press it on, the light bulb turns on. You turn it off, the light bulb turns off. On, off, on, off. And one of the things I really love about this the switch is not up by the light bulb. This switch is on the cord itself. And let me tell you why that's important. This is a child's lamp. You don't want the child, you know, reaching for the switch and accidentally squeezing the bulb, shatters it in his fingers, bloody all over the place, right? Crying, crying for help. Well, that's not gonna happen when the switch is on the cord. Now, this has a bit of wear and tear. First off, the lampshade is missing. I don't know where that is, but you can easily buy a new lampshade. Send me an email and I'll, I'll be happy to direct you to your, your nearest Home Depot. <laughs> Just kidding, no emails please. Um, but in addition to the missing lampshade, there is a missing animal. There is a giant, big old piece of real estate right here where you can insert your own animal. That is one of the special things about this lamp. I'm gonna sell this to you for, I'm gonna say about $14. That seems about right to me, right? $14, take it or leave it. Choice is up to you, my friend. Uh, this is something you need to own. Pull the trigger and buy this wonderful safari lamp right now.